Sandy. Hey, it's Ted. I... Sandy? pay for it. Yeah, what with? Heard you broke again. I'll pay for everything else in this goddamn house. I can certainly buy that fucking door. The new man with the alimony check. Dan, stay out of it. That's business, Ted. Don't push it. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't call the police. How about a sport? You want her to call the police? No, you're always welcome here. My house is your house. I think you better take off. You know, I'm starting to believe all those things Sandy told me about you are true. Yeah, what about you, Dennis? All the things I hear about you true? Dennis, why don't you go to the club? I'll meet you then. Why don't we get together for a drink sometime, huh? Compare notes. Dennis, do you know a Christopher Evans? No. Why? Just wondering. What's all that about? Ask him. Oh, God, you're unbelievable. You're here. What do you want? I'm thinking about getting married. And I've sold a barracuda. It's a mouthful. Mm -hmm. That's how I met Laura. She came by the boat one day and asked if it was for sale. Said she knew this millionaire in Australia that wanted a fast motor yacht. So she sent him some pictures. This uh, Peter Hopkins. He sends back a signed contract. Cash payment full on delivery. Great. CW like the idea? Well, CW and Nadine are going. And I want to take the kids with us. No. No, Ted. No. Sam. Take the kids. I've here for a year. My lawyers have told you no. Sandy, I promised them. You, you promised a lot of things, Ted. The kids are in school. I mean, what is this father of the year routine? You never spend any time with them. Oh, God. I'm trying to make up for that if you would give me a chance. See them this afternoon. Okay. I think you better have a look at that. What is it? It's your boyfriend's rap sheet. Christopher Evans, alias Dennis Bryant. Fronted a lot of money for some big dope deals. Last year he embezzled over 60 grand when he was controller for that big condo project in Boca Raton. Gambling debts. Sandy, this guy steals from his own people. Where'd you get it? Tony Scarpelli. Who else? Now, if you force me to use this in a custody hearing, I will. Tracy and Mark are going to go on that cruise with me.
CW and Nadine are gonna come by and pick him up. I've had some pretty bad scenes with Sandy. But this had to be one of the worst. You know, with the kids and all. I'm concerned about meeting Mark and Tracy. All I can think of is what they're gonna feel like seeing you with another woman. I don't want to do anything wrong. I, I want... I know the way that everything has happened. I know they're gonna hate me, Ted. No. They're not gonna hate you. They'll be real curious. They'll be jealous, especially Tracy. She's very outspoken. Just relax, just relax and be yourself. Everything's gonna be fine. They'll come around. Sure. Hell yes, I'm sure they're my kids. <laughs> I love you. Tracy, sit up. You can't make me want to bet. See how nice Mark and Tracy look. They sure do. Aunt Nadine, mm -hmm. are we going to have to wear these clothes every night? Not if I can help it. Come, Nadine, let's sit. Thank you. Here you are. Hey. <laughs> Did you get moved in okay? Yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. When can we eat? Soon. I'm starving. Why do we have to wait for her? Because she's our guest, that's why. And before Laura gets here, I want to be sure you two are going to be on your best behavior. Okay? Yep. Okay? Hello. Hi, baby. Hello. Mm. How are you? Hi, Laura. Hi, CW. Mm -hmm. Hi, Nadine. Mm -hmm. How are you? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Tracy? Hi. Hello, Mark. Miss Warner, can I ask you a question? Of course you can, Tracy, but please call me Laura. Laura? Doesn't it bother you going around with your boobs hanging out? <laughs> Tracy, what did I just tell you? It's okay. If I were her, I'd probably feel the same way. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I am hungry. Me too. Jimmy. Mark, I want you to know that if there's anything you want to talk about, I'm on 24-hour call for you. You know, I know this has all been a surprise. I expect surprises from you. <laughs> yeah. I want to make a promise to you. That things are going to get better. Could I speak to you about something Mom said? Sure. Last time you left home, I asked her why. I thought maybe it was something I had done. No. I've told you that. What did Mom say? She said that you both changed. That you both needed different things. But most of all, she blamed Vietnam. You know, it seems like everything these days gets blamed on Vietnam. Is that why you never talk about it? Well, I've managed to block a lot of it out. It was like a nightmare that never ended. When you woke up, it was still going on. Did you ever kill anyone? Yes. What was it like? Well, it's very confusing. At first, you're so scared. You, you, you don't want to encounter the enemy. You can't do it. 
And then once you make the first kill, it's like that. And you're so scared you can't stop. You find out that you're capable of doing anything. Anything. To survive. To get back home. And, uh... I found out a lot of things about myself. That I hope you never have to. Thanks for bringing Tracy and me, Dad. I just wish Mom was here. Yeah, I know. Could I have a hug? <sighs> Give me a big hug. I'd like to see you right away, sir. Hi, Scotty. What's wrong? I don't know. It seems we have a boat following us, Mom. The CW put you up to this. No, sir. Not at all, sir. I'll be right back. Ted, I don't understand why you have to go up. It's probably nothing. Would you stay here with her? Sure, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks. What's going on, Tommy? Somebody's after us. How close, sir? A little over a mile. It's very wide open. They're doing about 50 knots. Radio went out at 2 o'clock. Flash, some smoke. Fused the whole damn thing. Have you tried the backup system? Dead. I don't know what's wrong with it. It kicked out okay this morning. There's got to be some kind of explanation for all this. Well, they've doubled their speed since we first picked them up on radar. And every time we make a turn, they make a turn, man. Do you mind waiting outside? I think I'd like to put my clothes on now. Not at all, ma'am. <sighs> Have there been any other boats on this radar? Nope. I've changed course. South, Black Island, about 30 miles from here. We'll pick up its lighthouse in about uh, 20 minutes. Guns, 30 or 6, emergency beacon, the whole lot gone. What do you mean, gone? We're closing in 500 yards. Shit. This don't sound like the Coast Guard to me. I'm going out for a look. You wake up, CW. They're getting any closer, I'll ram them bastards.
damn amateur revolutions of yours are gonna get us all killed. Consider this a training exercise. These party terrorists don't know what the hell they're doing. We need some more pros on this operation. Sure, Bunning's a pro. He's getting too old. Right now, Bunning's the only one I can count on. That man will do anything I ask. You're the one I'm not sure about. You worry too much. My lady, tell her I want to see her. You got it. <sighs> Clean up this tub. Few last minute problems, but it's just what I was trying to tell you. He brought his kids. Listen, I think they're just what we need. Who's gonna suspect a yacht with kids on it? These kids ain't gonna put a rope around my neck. She's right. The kids are a good touch. Bullshit. I'm one of your assassins. Take care of them. <laughs> When you what? His body went overboard when I shot him. <laughs> you stupid bitch. Oh, Didn't I tell you to do him when you were in bed? Jack, huh? I swear I Didn't shot I? him. I did everything. Don't even Jack. think about lying. You understand? I'm huh? not lying. Jack is dead. Shut up. Just shut up. You feel that? Huh? Jack, don't, please. Huh? If you're lying, I swear to God, you'll wish I saw this pretty My face. lips, I'm not lying. Damn it, he's dead. Please, Jack. Anybody else got any more surprises? Go clean yourself up and come to my room. Get rid of these bodies. <laughs> sound better than you look. Well, I gotta remember. Gotta be able to think. I'm trying very hard not to wish you were dead. Me too. Anyway, what matters is Mark and Trace. Yeah, I know. I know they're alive. We just have to find them. We're gonna put pressure on every government agency we can to make this happen. Thing is, money. Can you mortgage the house? Yeah, mortgage, I sell the house, whatever it takes. Good. Stand by for five, 
four, three, two, one. For information locating any of these people. Okay, stop VT. Roll VT. This yacht, the Barracuda, or those responsible for the hijacking, we offer a reward of a hundred thousand dollars. Hey, I just talked to our producer. She says we can have the tape on satellite within 24 hours. Just the foreign language versions will take a bit longer. Let's do it. Well, Agent Johnson still says no. Well, what does he know? Well, he's a professional. He must know something. Don't count on it. Let's just get the tape shipped out, okay? Hang on, Ted. You're not the only one making a decision here. Sandy, you're wasting time again. Come on. Don't bully me. Not over this. Don't... Do that. Don't. Mr. Johnson, what have you found out? What's the FBI know? The Navy, the Coast Guard, what's going on? Well, we know that a speedboat, similar to the one used by the hijackers, was stolen from the factory in Sarasota about a week before the attack. We know the Barracuda hasn't been through the Panama Canal. We know a Peter Hopkins in Australia who's rich enough to pay cash for your yacht, but he's out of the country and they can't find him. We know there was no AWAC surveillance off our coast that night. All the planes were in the air over Texas. A tip on a drug raid that never happened. Well, that's about it. So, in fact, you don't have any idea who you're looking for, right? <sighs> Mrs. Andrews, you must understand, a case like this is very difficult. All right, so we're getting assistance from the CIA, State Department. But once the investigation moves outside of the U.S., well, there's no agency equipped to handle a case like this. This case is our children's lives. I understand that. Do you? Do you understand that? Do you have children? No. You don't understand? Excuse me, I'm going to have them release the tapes right away. Yeah, I, I thought we agreed that... I, I thought we agreed that we... I think she changed her mind. Thanks, anyway. behind us. Oh, good. So far, any telegrams of support from our senators? Oh, let's just talk. We're just after votes. Mr. Andrews, Mr. Andrews, Agent Harris, I've been assigned to you. What happened to Agent Johnson? Oh, he was transferred to St. Louis. Mr. Andrews, what's your connection with Anthony Scott Pelley? Are you guys following me? No, no, we just take an interest in everyone around, Mrs. Scott Pelley. Uh, you were observed entering his office in Miami yesterday. Tony and I went to high school together. I thought he might have some kind of lead. Yeah? Did he? No. Why does the Navy have two service records for you? Well, you got the question, you ought to have the answer. Yeah, well, there was no explanation in your file. Well, what does that have to do with anything? I mean, that's ancient history. I was a Navy SEAL instructor in California on paper. When actually, I was running forced recon raids in the North Vietnam for naval intelligence. Now, so what? Hey, Mr. Andrews, please, don't shut up. Why don't we meet tomorrow in your office? Sure. Come on, Sandy. This is Karen Daly at the home of Sandy Andrews. In the almost three weeks since the Andrews yacht was hijacked, we have all waited for news of her children and the other people aboard the ill-fated yacht. Today, Ted Andrews, sole survivor of the hijacking, returns home for the first time since the incident. Cut! Move over here. The car is coming. Camera rolling. Rolling. 
Mr. Andrews, how do you feel returning home, still not knowing the fate of your son and daughter? How would you feel? How do you feel being out of the hospital? Okay. It's rumored you've spent over a quarter of a million dollars for reward spots we see on our TV screens. Are you satisfied with those results? Those results aren't in yet. Mr. Andrews. Mr. Andrews, I have a question for you. Is it true the young girl who accompanied you was only 17 years old? No, that's a lie. Mrs. Andrews, does Mr. Andrews being here mean you two are getting back together again? That's private. We're just trying to focus public attention on this story. We want to help you. Bullshit. Keep the camera rolling. Only a few short weeks ago, this sad house rang out with the sound of children's laughter. Now, as this bizarre story continues to unfold, both parents can only wait... Listen, hope. Karen. I cooperated with you because I thought you could help us. If you're here for gossip and your goddamn ratings, get the fuck away from my house! This is your basic coup d'etat. The people of Madagascar go to sleep one night with a more or less homegrown Marxist government. They wake up the next morning with a very new pro-Soviet Marxist government. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know, boy? Huh? It's a business, isn't it? You want to make the big bucks? You take chances. Got a flight between Greece and Zimbabwe or a goddamn nightmare. If I can beat O'Connor tomorrow night, I'll be back this plan. If I'm not, don't panic. Let's go. Bay. Where? South coast of Skiathos. By sea, it's about 200 miles north of Athens. Our boat's called the Golden Odyssey. You told me Sardinia. I like a lot of options. Okay. I'll have Jenkins change course. Understand that anything goes down with their revolution. We do the work of Diego Suarez. We get the bonus money. They understood that when they agreed to the deal. All of it. Yeah, all of it. I even laid it out in legal form. The bottom line is, the bonus money is in my trust account with the Bahamas. Do you know how disappointed I'd be if that wasn't true? You made your point. See you in Scathos? Yeah. I'm gonna head for the airport. Hmm. How'd I do? You did great, babe. No party rhetoric. I like that.
this program to bring you a special news bulletin. For information locating any of these people, this yacht, the Barracuda, or those responsible for the hijacking, we offer a reward of $100,000. If you have any information, please call area code 
Hello. Nice to meet you. This is Lieutenant Masimbe. Mr. Andrews. Hello. Mr. Andrews. Pleased to meet you. The lieutenant is in charge of the investigations. Mr. Andrews, I'd like you to identify the body. After that, I'll go over what we know so far. Would you care to come with us, please? Yes. I'm on positive identification. Yeah. You ready? She died at the age of three. Would you sit down? That's impossible. I mean... That's the way these things are done. What are you telling me? I'm telling you that we don't know who she was. Her fingerprints didn't turn up anything. Lieutenant, what do you think this means in terms of it? She wasn't Laura then. Who was she? We know that Laura, or whatever her name was, and some man registered at the Arari International Hotel as Mr. and Mrs. Roger Hornbeck from Seattle. Now, three months ago, they stayed at the same hotel under the same name. Nobody remembers him, but a maid and a desk clerk have identified her. Now, we checked out the name Hornbeck and the address in Seattle. They don't exist. She was part of it. Looks like it. Ah, oh, Jesus. Thank you very much, Lieutenant. We'd like to talk with you later.
Lady and gentlemen. What about the FBI? Have they come up with anything new? <sighs> no. They did give me the name of their contact in Australia. I called him this morning and found they've located Peter Hopkins. Now, Hopkins claims he doesn't know anything about your yacht, Laura, or you. And his story seems to check out. <laughs> I wish I could be more encouraging, but there's just no chance that those people are still in Zimbabwe. We are still looking, though. We're going to stick around here for a few days. Lieutenant, do you have any suggestions? Do you have anything that we could try that we're not doing? Or... I shouldn't say this, but I will. You are not dealing with ordinary criminals here. Most places, the police don't even know how to deal with them. If you find them, there are many things you can do which the police can't. Don't hesitate to do those things. Thank you, Lieutenant, very much. Bye. Bye. Messages for five to four. Five to four. Okay. Thank you. Cynthia Nakaluni. Three seven nine. What's your name? Cynthia Nakaluni. Cynthia Nakaluni. Hello, Cynthia. Yes. This is Ted Andrews. Did you call? Are you the one looking for information about the girl who was killed at the Harare International? Yes. I've got an 8 by 10 of her with some other people at the 12,000 horsemen. That's the nightclub where I used to be the photographer. When was it taken? About three months ago. If you want, I can bring it to your hotel around noon. What's your address? If it's okay, we'd like to come pick it up right now. Zimbabwe Freight. I'm going to write this down just a minute. Zimbabwe Freight. Take Julius Nyerere away. Take Julius Nyerere away. To Coenda. and turn left. I'll have the office open by the time you get there. Thanks very much, Cynthia. We're on our way.
months ago. If you want, I can bring it to your hotel around noon. Don't answer. What's your address? If it's okay, we'd like to come pick it up right now. Switchboard, can I help you? Yes, did you call my room? Yes, Mr. Ortiz. I've been trying to call you. I still haven't been able to get through on your call to the Palace Hotel. The operator in Skiathos said that the phone lines in that part of the island are out. She didn't know how soon they'll be fixed. Do you want me to keep trying? No, I'll call back. Skiathos? That's one of the Greek islands Pam went there last year for a vacation. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's go to the airport. Things get so ugly between us. Huh? I don't know. We stopped talking to each other. Lost trust. I started talking to friends and marriage counselors, therapists, everyone except you. Lawyers. Don't forget the lawyers. Here's all the rental cars right here. It's 
must be off season, huh? After we get a room, why don't you get one of these cars for us? Or if they speak English here. So let's go, let's go. Zimbabwe means nothing. It's all fiction on top of fiction, anyway. You had a problem. Hear from Carlos by now. You sure you got enough people? I told you before I could do this with four people. I've got five. I'm not like those staff officers from West Point who lost Vietnam. I do what is necessary to win. No excuses. I'll take your base in Madagascar. Even if your guerrillas from the MRA don't show up. Hey, my neck's out a long way on this. You're a brave man. No heroics. Mm. You just keep doing what we're paying you for. Deliver those weapons and it's done. There's a new schedule. Jenkins will anchor the Neptunus in the bay within two hours. Tonight I get the money to pay him. Tomorrow I settle with Jenkins. And tomorrow night, the weapons are yours. You know... This works out. You and I could be doing a lot of business. See anything? Nothing. The guy's a car. There's another boat coming. I checked the yacht. Somebody just came on deck. Here. Here, let me see. That's the other guy in the photo. You know, trace a marker on the boat, Ted. How do we get out there? How do we get to them? How do we get to my kids? Find a way. Now, somebody's coming ashore. Here they come. Come on, let's go. Me to tell you what I think about Wilcox, or you want me to reassure you? Tell me what you think. I'm sure, he was a hell of an officer in Nam, but uh, getting passed over for Colonel screwed up his head. Guys got too much to prove, always pushing the limits. You want out? I made a deal. I'll stick with it. This could be it. Come on. Stay with the other one.
Game made of sugar, aren't you? Anybody? Not exactly. What does that mean? It means I have a very inspiring husband. You want to know? Are my children alive? Yes. Look, you must believe me. I don't know anything about any of this. You're lying. Well, I just represent a client. I had nothing to do with the killings. But what's what's you tell me about? everything, or I'm gonna kill you right here. You hear me? I'm gonna kill you right here if you don't tell me everything. Help me with your children. I'll think of something. No. Like I said, it's all yours. 
You going with me? I want an ideal. You, you, you said. Oh, sue me. Give me your hands. Why don't we go to your place? Told you I have a husband in my room. Let's go to your place. I can't. Why not? Got a wife? Got a wifey? No. No? I don't have a place. I work on that yacht. A yacht? I live at Dunning on a yacht. Mm -hmm. We ain't going to. They only don't like visitors. For guests, isn't it? Hey, she just wanted to see the yacht. This is um. Alice, I'm Alice Todd. Hi. Alice, Alice. Well, Alice, my associate forgot to mention that I don't allow anybody on board that I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry to disturb you. I didn't know you from somewhere. I don't think so. It'll come to me. Alice, Alice, Alice. Hmm. Why don't we have a drink in the salon? I don't drink, mister. I thought you wanted to see the yacht, sweetheart. Stevens, show Alice the bar. Thank you. Talk to mom. Now, Mrs. Andrews. Mrs. Andrews. It's only fair that since you're going to answer all my... Look at me! Mrs. Andrews. Since you are going to answer every single one of my questions, I think it's only fair that I answer one of yours. You are probably wondering what happened to the rest of the crew. That's easy. They're dead. <coughs> Moving right along. If you don't tell me everything I want to... Shut up! If you don't tell me everything I want to know, I'm going to kill the girl. Then I will kill the boy. Then I will kill you. Now, 
Where's Daddy? Amit, take them to the pilot house. Before you die? Huh? Where are they? On my yacht. Now, you've been a lucky boy. I think your luck has just run out. Maybe not. O'Connor just gave me the money for the weapons. Full of shit! Then shoot me. Kiss your Madagascar operation goodbye. I got a money sample in my pocket. Andrews? I want you to sit on the floor with your hands above your head. That's it. Now, O'Connor wants to talk to you. Something about a KGB colonel. Where's O'Connor now? I'll tell you what, I'll take your time. <laughs> Sit up. Sit up! Keep those hands above your head, boy. I'll blow your fucking head off. That's a negative. He's in a silver Volvo. In the truck, out in the parking lot. When I come back here, I want you to tell me all about that money. There are worse things than dying, my friend. Stevens, come with me. Bunny, blow his face off if you move. Colonel Ostrovsky? I thought they called the operation off. You and the money, didn't you? Did you? Didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you? Come on, what are you doing? Come on, what are you doing? Hey, come on, what are you doing? Get out of here! Come on! Come on, you guys! I can't breathe in here! Come on, let me out of here, will you? What are you playing at? <laughs> How long you been in this business of terrorism? She always talked this much? She can't talk. They cut out her tongue in one of Samosa's jails. Oh. So that's her excuse for killing people at random, huh? What's yours? Don't be thinking you'll attract attention, boy. There's nobody else in this building. 
Now shut up!
too. The flyers. Are you okay, sir? I'll have you free in a second here. Just a minute while I'm tired. Yeah, they are. That's great. You were dead twice. Not even once. God, I don't believe you. Did you take the helm? Yeah. Thanks. We're gonna go around this island and head to the eastern coast of Greece. I know there's a military installation there, and we'll be safe. Transfer the weapons. Where's O'Connell? I know him. I don't know you. Oh, well, he's in the Golden Odyssey. He wants us to meet him on the other side of the island. My idea is for cash. Until I see the money, I'm not moving. So get off my boat. Yes, sir. Do it your way.
he's up to. Mark? Oh, shake care of your mother and your sister. Okay. Okay, you're the man in charge now. Get me out of here. Uh, okay. Go get him.
Ah! <laughs> 